Well, thank you for coming. It's always a pleasure to have company. Wendy Belcher is a volunteer for the Oakville Historical Society. To help residents and visitors learn about Oakville's beginnings, she spends time role-playing as one of Oakville's first settlers, Esther Thomas, in the original Thomas House. Well, Merrick and I uh, had this house built in 1829, uh, and it's over on the other side of the river, um, and we own the, the property from the lake to Lower Middle Road. I think you're going to change the name of that, though. I think you're going to call it the Queen Elizabeth Way. Mm. Far be it from me. Anyway, uh, so this, uh, this house is our, our home, uh, and we have, uh, at this point, several cho children. Uh, my daughters, unfortunately, passed away. The twins died before they were two weeks old, and my Rebecca died before she was three. But the boys are here, and they're out and about, as is Merrick. He's so very busy with uh, um, the Chisholms, with uh, Robert Kerr, RK, we call him. You know, helping to set Oakville up and getting very, very busy. The house itself is furnished as a pioneer home with many of the Thomas family original items inside. When you visit, you'll be greeted by Wendy or another volunteer who can answer any questions you have. And if your timing's right, you can enjoy some delicious soup and fireside cookies. Unfortunately, I think I would have starved to death in the 19th century because my cookies sometimes take forever. Kids keep coming and saying, are the cookies ready? Not yet. <laughs> But we show them the kind of uh, home that existed in the early 19th century. They love to pick up the iron because, of course, it's heavy. It's made out of iron. That's where we get the name. Uh, they like to use the mortar and pestle because we do cinnamon. And they recognize, after they pound it, they recognize the smell of, of the cinnamon. Uh, and things like the butter churn. Um, and a lot of our guests um, um, are often from Eastern Europe where they look at the fireplace and say, my grandmother's fireplace looked just like that. So uh, people are often reminded of what their parents, grandparents, and even great-grandparents had. And a lot of them say, I would love to live in a place like this. Despite its relatively small size, up to six family members were in the two-room home at any given time. To learn more and enjoy this free experience, head to Lakeside Park between 1.30 to 4 p.m. any weekend in September. For Halton News, I'm Jessica Kading.